And I shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, This shall be a holy anointing oil to me for extra generations upon man's flesh, shall it not be poured, neither shall you make any other like it. After the composition of it, it is holy, and holy shall it be for you. Whoever compounds any like it, or whoever puts any of it upon a stranger, shall even be cut off from his people. And the Lord said to Moshe, Take to thee sweet spices, storax, and onicha, and gablanon, sweet spices, of pure frankincense, of each shall there be like a waste, and I shall make it a perfume of infection, after the heart, the perfumer, mingled with salt, pure and holy, thou shalt lay it some of it very small, and put it out before the seven minutes end of meeting, where I will meet with thee, it shall be to you most holy, and as for the perfume which thou shalt make, you shall not make it for yourselves according to its prescribed composition, it shall be holy for the Lord, whoever shall make a light to that, partake of a sense, shall even be cut off from his people. And the Lord spoke to Moshe, saying, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, the tribe of Yehuda, and have it filled him with the spirit of God, and wisdom, and an understanding, and a knowledge, and all manner of workmanship, to contrive works of art, to work in gold, and in silver, and in brass, and cutting of stones, to set them in the carving of timber, to work in all manner of workmanship. And I will hold her even with him a, a whole land, the son of Asaphmach, the tribe of Dan, and in the hearty parts of all that are wise-hearted, I have put wisdom, that they may make all that I have commanded thee, the tent of meeting and the ark of the testament, the covering that is on it, and the, all the furniture of the tent, the table, and its furniture, and the pure candlestick, the fall of its furniture, and the altar of incense, and the altar of burnt offering, the fall of its furniture, and the labor, and its pedestal, and the uniforms of the holy garments, the Ahar and the priest, and the garment, of his sons, the minister of the priest's office, and anointing oil and incense of spices, and for the holy place, according to all that I have commanded thee, shall they do. And the Lord spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak also to the children of Israel, saying, Rarely my Sabbath shall be keep, for it is a sign between me and throughout your generation, that you may know that I am the Lord who sanctifies you. You shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is holy to you. And everyone that profanes it shall surely be put to death, for whoever does any work on it, that soul shall be put out from among his people. Six days may work be done, but on the seventh day is the Sabbath rest holy to the Lord. Well, whoever does any work on the Sabbath day, they shall surely be put to death. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, to observe the Sabbath, throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. And he gave to Moshe when he had made an end of speaking to him upon Mount Sinai two tablets of the testimony tablets of stone, written with the finger of God, and when the people saw that Moshe, the ladies had come down from the mountain, the people gathered to get themselves together, so a heart, and said to him, oh, make us gods, which shall be go before us, for as for this man Moshe, who brought us up out of the land of misery, we know not what is become of him, and Aharon said to them, break off the golden earrings, which are in the ears of your wives, and of your sons, and of your daughters, and bring them to me, and all the people broke off the golden earrings, which were in their hearts, in their ears, and brought them to Aharon, and they received the gold with their hand, and fashioned up a graving tool, and made it a molten calf, and they said, These are thy gods, all you Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Misery. And when Aharon saw it, he built an altar before it, and Aharon made a proclamation, and said, Tomorrow is a feast of the Lord. And they rose up early on the morrow, and offered drink offerings, and brought peace offerings, and people sat down to eat and drink, and rose up to support, them, to support themselves. And the Lord said to the Gosh, Go, get thee down. For thy people which thou brightest, brought us up half of the land of Israel, have been corrupted. 